So in Be Quiet sent me this pen supply to show on the channel. Thank you so much, Be Quiet. That's very generous of you. Honestly, I was kind of confused by it. Because even though right here it says Essential, which is Be Quiet's most bare bone and budget brand of, well, pretty much everything they produce nowadays, this thing still apparently has an 80 plus gold efficiency and is also modular. And apparently that's all supposed to make sense at a wattage even as low as 550 watts. So can this thing recall itself budget and can it make sense on such a low wattage power supply? Well, let's just simply open this bad boy up and uh, we'll see for ourselves. Honestly, it's been a while since I opened up a Be Quiet power supply. Last time I did it was for my main build, which uses one of their System Power 9 uh, power supplies, which isn't the newest thing in the world, nor is it the most, you know, highly efficient thing in the world, seeing how it is bronze. So who knows, maybe this will convince me to finally go and buy something a bit better from Be Quiet. But anyway, here we have our main power cable, uh, kettle cable, or whatever you want to call it. It is just European, however. I'm not sure if, you know, even if you say buy one across the pond, it'll be European and they expect you to just adapt everything. Anyway, here is all the good stuff. Look at all these cables. Wow, that's a lot of them. Uh, some of them, okay, actually one of them has like a nice uh, shielding. It's the, yep, it's a 24 pin. And also, what on earth is this coming off of it? It's a 24 pin, but has uh, an 8 pin. I'm assuming that's a CPU 8 pin. Uh, yeah, because the, um, I think I saw the PC, yeah, there we go, the PCI is over here. And also we have our Molex connectors. We have, what on earth is this one? Uh, this is also PCIe. Yep, it's PCIe. Um, here's some C more CPU stuff. And here's Molex and SATA. So what on earth is this weird 8 pin doing on the 24 pin? Unless it's just for motherboards that require even more than 24 pins. I'm actually very curious how this works now because here is... I'm assuming this part goes into your motherboard, seeing how that breaks off into 20 plus 4. So then you'd need this and this, plug it into power supply. Let's look at the power supply itself. Of course, that's the main attraction. And maybe it will give us some more clues as to exactly what's going on with that. I'm just probably being dumb and I'm not realizing something, but oh boy, this looks... Man. The Quiet power supplies are really sexy, I'm gonna give them that. It has, definitely has some heft to it, the nice black gloss, and of course, the Be Quiet fan. I would assume that this is the Silent Wings 3, looks like a Silent Wings 3. Those things are insanely quiet, I use those in my main PC and they are amazing. And this is actually my first time actually holding a modular power supply. But now let's find out what the deal is with this 24 pin with the extra 8 pin. It's probably because I just never used a modular power supply before, again this is my first, so um, hmm. So I'm assuming this goes here and this goes here, and then that converts into this 24 pin i'm pretty curious to see why they need that yeah it's even late yeah I, I should have read this it's literally labeled here motherboard motherboard i wonder why though why can't they just run a you know 24 pin directly from there there's probably some like you know engineering explanation to all of this so if you know please let me know down in the comments below i'm actually curious now after that you have this p8 thing which i would assume is the cpu yep it's a cpu because it's the um, only thing that's not listed on here man these things are so cool just like modular power supplies in general. Like you literally just put whatever you want and you just let the other cables gather dust in the box. Why do I feel like a kid playing with one of those like, you know, square peg uh, hole game things? Like I'm literally just matching cables to holes in power supply. I don't know why, but I just find it kind of endearing. The cables themselves, even though they aren't, you know, anything special, they are they don't have any kind of uh, casing on them, just the motherboard ca uh, one has over here. Like, look at the cables, yeah, you can't really expect too much, but at least some kind of sleeving, like on this motherboard one, would have been nice. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm, I don't know. I don't know how much cost-wise it would add. Again, it's supposed to be a budget power supply, so... I mean, budget stuff like this is very hard to talk about. Because I could be sitting here saying, oh, I wish it had this, and I wish it had that, and then after a while, all my demands add up to like a hundred extra dollars which would make it not budget at all so i'm just gonna trust be quiet on this they're smart people i'm assuming this is as much as they could do in within the budget of this power supply 
but at the end of the day, it is a modular power supply. And those things are at the best when they're simply simple to work with, they don't leave you with a giant mess of cables, and it's all just nice and easy and looks sleek in your PC. And honestly, it's hard to mess any of that up with a modular power supply. And this, well, doesn't definitely mess anything up so far. I definitely like it. Having less useless cables in your PC, causing that ever dreaded case bulge. But if you want to see me go into more depth into this power supply, then make sure to subscribe to the channel because my review for this thing will be coming out sometime soon. So if you want to know if your PC needs one of these, then definitely subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that video. So you know exactly if this thing is worth the purchase or not. Once again, thank you so much for Be Quiet for sending me this power supply. It's really awesome so far and I can't wait to get on with the review. Also, while you're still here, if you want to help support the channel monetarily, maybe check out my Patreon because even $1 a month goes a long way in having my channel and it allows to make way better videos along with videos on way more interesting topics. I'd also love to find my patrons Gavin Burns, Ryan, LKB, Naomi Sushi, Meg Sumner, Blake Rake, and Roland Cloaker. Thank you guys so so much, your support truly goes a long way. If you want to get this power supply yourself, the links to it are going to be down in the video description below as well. Plus down there's also our Discord server if you want to talk to me or us at this or whatever else really. Plus also our social media links. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. If you didn't remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone. Good. Bye.